Why the Street Glide is better than the Road Glide. Five reasons I picked the Street Glide. Amazingly, Harley Davidson themselves show that one of these bikes is a girl's bike. <laughs> what did I do wrong? There is a war going on. <laughs> Five reasons why I picked the Harley Davidson Street Glide over the Road Glide. Hi, my name's Eamon, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to discuss the very small differences between the Street Glide and the Road Glide. And the big question is, did I make a mistake in getting a Street Glide? Am I a fool? Did I get the wrong bike? Let me know in the comments which of these bikes you prefer and why. Stay tuned till the end because the Road Glide has one massive advantage over the Street Glide. <laughs> How amazingly Harley Davidson themselves show that one of these bikes is a girl's bike. And is it correct you just started identifying as female two weeks ago? I'm not here to talk about my transition. I'm here to kick some f***ing ass. So which of these bikes do you think is a girl's bike? And at the end of the video, in spite of what Harley Davidson actually thinks I'm going to give you my opinion on these bikes. So stay tuned, we'll get right into it. Most people looking for touring bikes are going to consider both the Road Glide and the Street Glide amongst a couple of other bikes. They're almost identical bikes except for the fairing. So the Road Glide fairing is mounted to the frame which is probably the conventional way of doing things. Most bikes with fairings, unless they're a small bikini fairing, are done this way. And that means you turn the handlebars and the fairings remains fixed. With the Street Glide, the Batwing fairing is attached to the handlebars. So when you move the handlebars, the fairing moves with it. And that gives you a little bit of extra weight to consider as well. So the Road Glide, with its very unique distinct look. Originated in the 1980s, I think the, maybe 1985, with the FLT Tour Glide. Whereas the Street Glide, that's been around a lot longer. So even though the Street Glide model only started in 1985, the Batwing fairing goes back a lot uh, further, uh, all the way back to the mid-60s where Harley Davidson had the Electra Glide and they started offering the Batwing fairing as an optional extra. It was in about 1969, something like that. And that's evolved into the street glide we know today. And what's interesting is, even though the bikes are almost identical bar the fairing, there is a war going on between the owners of street glides and road glides. And the front line of that war is on the internet with meme wars. That's very funny, but this is serious! There are millions of memes floating around on the internet and probably thousands or maybe tens of thousands of street glide and road glide warriors who are battling for supremacy. Currently I've got a Street Glide Special, a 114M8. They don't offer the standard Street Glide in Australia. I don't think I would have got that anyway. I've had this Street Glide for over 18 months, maybe two years now. I'm very happy with it. It's the second Street Glide I've had, so I know Street Glides very well. I've done a fair few comfort aesthetic and performance mods to the bike. If you're interested in those, see my video, the nine essential mods for Harley Davidson motorcycles. So in my opinion, the Street Glide's a very comfortable, easy to ride bike. It eats up the kilometers and you can do that at good speed. Both times I purchased the Street Glide, I looked into getting a Road Glide and I gave them both serious consideration. But I ended up with the Street Glide for the following reasons. Right, reason number one is looks. Surely that's the most important thing. So when I'm talking about looks, I mean the fairing from the front and the bike from the side. From the front, I didn't really like the look. And at the time, they were discounted compared to street glides. And I thought I'd have a look around and see if I could modify the front, make it look a bit cooler. But there was not really anything available that would uh, dramatically change the look or enhance the look of the road glide. Whereas the Street Glide, I actually like the look from the front. I like the shape of the back wing fairing. And um, personally, I think it's a very cool looking bike. I like the look of the Road Glide a lot more now. I guess it's been shoved in our faces. It's something that you do get used to, I think, or I have. The King of the Bagger series has actually made it a lot more popular. And it seems that everybody now wants a Road Glide instead of a Street Glide. Now, I think the Batwing fairing is a classic shape. It's an iconic design, 
And of course, if you've seen my uh, video about it, it was actually endorsed in the Bible. And one of the reasons it looks better from the front is the mirrors are behind the fairing. So it gives it a bit more of a streamlined look. The road glide mirrors stick up. I guess it's the same setup as many other bikes. Now the look from the side, I just didn't like the lines or the look of the road glide from the side. I think it looks a little bit awkward. You could argue that the street glide looks a bit stumpy, but personally I think um, the lines of the street glide are a lot better. I know some of you will reverse that and say that you like the longer lines of the road glide and you think that the street glide looks a bit short and stumpy, but uh, not for me. I personally love the look of the street glide. I think the, the road glide is a little awkward. Right, now number two is the fairing on the road glide feels weird. Now, one of the most important things, in my opinion, about riding a motorcycle or choosing which motorcycle you like is the way that bike makes you feel. Now, what I found very interesting on the road glide is the fairing, even though it gives you a lot of room, to me it just feels strange. It's probably not supposed to be attached to the handlebars like the Batwing fairing, but for some reason, sitting on a road glide, it just feels strange and the, the fairing is too, too far away. I'm not quite sure why it feels so weird. I've had plenty of sports bikes where the fairing is set up in the same way. It's attached to the frame. The main difference, I think, is that sports bike fairings are a lot closer to you and a lot tighter. So they're not sort of um, imposing on your view. It's just with the road glide fairing, it just doesn't look right from the rider's seat. It's too far out. Now, of course, this is all subjective. It's just the way I feel on the motorcycle. And I know a lot of commentators will say, ah, well, you know, it's a lot more streamlined, the road glide, and it cuts through the air better, and um, it feels like you've got more room. That may be true, but to me, it just feels weird and awkward sitting on a road glide. So I've ridden, I've ridden my street glide at high speeds, on the racetrack, of course, and I don't see any problem with it. The limitation is the suspension and the lean angle, not the fairing. Anyway, we're all on Harleys, on freeways and highways, and whatever road you ride on, we're not actually at the racetrack trying to shave one hundredth of a second off our time. Number three, the road glide is heavier. Now this one's not really a big deal for most people. There's only about 12 kilos difference, I think. Street glide is lighter, but I'm already 110 kilos and often my saddlebags are full. And if you've seen my last video where I put the lighter breakout against the street glide, you'll see that weight makes a massive difference. So the last thing I want to do is add any weight to my bike. So on its own, that wouldn't be a deal breaker, but it's another factor to consider. It might not be relevant to you, you might be a lot lighter and not have any, or you might have done some uh, extreme engine modifications and you can carry all that extra weight. So number four, the distance to the fairing <laughs> is actually too far away. Now this is really interesting because I'm six foot four, so <laughs> you wouldn't think that would matter. But I find that when I'm sitting on a road glide, I can't reach the fairing. Now. Bear in mind, I have to, and I always, put a different seat on my Harley where I'm pushed back two inches. So if you add that seat to a road glide as well, I don't know how people ride those things because you can't use anything on the fairing. Now I know that the controls are on the handlebars, but to me, especially with the sat nav, which is pretty much the only thing I need the screen for anyway, I find that um, <laughs> fingers, works a lot better. Reason number five is availability at the time of purchase. Now, when I was looking for uh, a bike, the 21 models had just come out and perhaps I could have purchased one of those, but the problem was, I, th I think from memory, they changed the ECM in them. So there was no tuning module available. I'm not really a big fan of leaving the um, engine on these bikes standard and I needed the ability to tune them. So that left me with a bit of a dilemma. I had to buy an older bike, which is fine, of course, but I also wanted to get something that had um, surpassed the something issue that Harley-Davidson had with their M8 engines. So that sort of left late 2019 and 2020, which is a very narrow window because they're almost new bikes. So when I looked around, it was almost impossible to find a near new road glide 
because they weren't really that popular in Australia. It's only really now that the road glides are getting really popular and I think you'll find more and more on the second hand market eventually. So with the narrow time frame, you know, late 2019 and 2020, that didn't really leave many bikes to choose from. All right, so where is the road glide better? The main thing, and this might seem small, but it's actually, it is actually a big deal. Well, it's not a big deal, it's a pain in the butt. The Road Glide has fantastic storage in the fairing compared to the Street Glide. The Street Glide is absolutely piss weak when it comes to storage in the fairing. There's one small compartment on the right hand side. It's too small to even put a modern large screen phone into. And I know that um, I've got saddlebags, but things like wallets and keys and there are certain things I don't like putting behind me in the saddlebags, so it would be ideal if you had bigger compartments to store all those. Um... So let's have a look at this tiny compartment. Absolutely impossible to put a What's this, an Android, a Samsung S20, Samsung S20, I think. Looks bigger on the screen than it really is. <laughs> oh, which of these is a girl's bike? Harley Davidson themselves have made it very clear and signal to the world with this promotional video where they have put a woman on the road glide and a man on the street glide. And that very clearly shows us which of those is a girl's bike, and that is the Road Glide. And we can clearly see that the Road Glide is intended for female riders, and the Street Glide is intended for men. There can be only one. girls and man girls out there do not crack it at me because I'm not saying this I never I'm not saying that the road glide is a girl's bike Harley Davidson themselves are saying that I don't I'm not even sure if I agree with them but Harley has told you all right road glide riders show me those skirts but seriously let's get really serious the road glide is a girl's bike all right, let's get really really serious now no more jokes the street glide is a man's bike and the road glide is a girl's bike. So that brings up the interesting question of <laughs> what's a man and what's a woman? Why do we even um, say to people, you know, don't be a girl? Because we all have masculine and feminine energy within us. Masculine is the energy of action, forward movement, doing, and feminine is, you know, nurturing, uh, caring, being, and creation and it's healthy to have all of those energies within us and develop uh, both sides of the equation <laughs> even though we're supposed to be men so into the comments let me know what you think maybe you think i'm a girl for even suggesting it so let's get serious now now i hope you know that i'm only kidding these bikes are bloody well identical <laughs> except for the fairing so my suggestion is go and sit on them both or go and ride them both and see whether you mind the extra weight of the back wing fairing. See which feels better for you and have a look at what, what do you actually like better. It's very subjective. I think it really comes down to which one do you like better. I chose a street glide over the road glide. I'm start, the road glide is starting to grow on me, I guess. It's been just, people are shoving it down my throat. Everyone's getting a road glide, but that doesn't really matter. I would be just as happy with a road glide as I would a street glide. If you've seen my other videos, you know that I am cool and I'm gonna make my bike look cool anyway. Got a black street glide, what more can I say? So if you liked today's video, let me know in the comments, give me a like, subscribe to the channel, support your local creators. If you didn't like today's video, if you thought Eamon needs a new hobby or go back to where you came from, give me the big thumbs down. Let me know in the comments why you didn't like the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.